Today in this video, I will show you like how you can create auto reply system plus how you can create the free form. If you see the blog website, many blog website give us an, a free tools or free coupon or free ebook or free downloadable products. Many blogging website. So how they just give? Let me give you an example, then you will understand. So if you see my screen, then I'll say, if someone visit my website, when they're scrolling, then they will see the pop-up. So this pop-up is like, suppose this pop-up is like a book. So if you subscribe, if you give email, like your name and email address and click on join, then you will get this ebook absolutely free. So you don't need to uh, give you any kind of money. So when you subscribe or when you join, then you will see like this type of Gmail. And here, as you can see, they're showing like, thank you. Okay. So if you want to give any kind of link, so then can, you can easily do that. Or if you want anyone, uh, anyone just submit, uh, anyone just join into your newsletter, then you just send him a thank you message. If you want, you can make this. So in this full video, I will show you like step by step how to do that. To do that, we just need to take help from Convertful and also Mailchimp. So number first, we just need to create an account in Convertful. Let me give you an example to about like Convertful. What is Convertful? So if you see my photos in first, I just showing like like this type of pop up. So Convertful just help us to give like this type of pop up. If you see this button, then you'll see here like buy Convertful. So this website gave us like this type of fo form. And uh, if you see the MailChimp, MailChimp has like collect your all email address. You can send your offer your user. So MailChimp just do that thing. And this Convertful only give us an a, as like an a form and just help us to collect user email address. That's it. So you just need to create an account in there first. So when your account done, then you will get something like this. So let me click on this add site to add our site. So let me show you the our website. Basically, this is a website now. Now I'm just designing this website. So when it's done, then I will give you the full tutorial. Okay, so let me, this is the backend. So let me copy the URL here from here and go to Convertful and let me paste here our domain name. So we don't need to add your HTTPS or any kind of slash, only add your domain name or only domain name. Okay, so as you can see, this is our domain name. So if you don't have, if you not use like subdomain, then you just use your main domain, no problem. So then you just need to uh, add your platform. So we are using like WordPress, select WordPress, and you just need to set up here like site category. So this is in a simple uh, blog magazine, I just media, so service media. Let me click on the add site button to add our site. So then see the connect this site. So we just need to install an, another plugin. Its name is Convertful. Let me copy this name and go to our website backend and go to plugin to add new. And here the search option, paste the name Convertful or if you want, you can type here. And you just need to install this plugin like this one. All right, so it's successfully installed. Let me activate this plugin. All right, so now click on this connect convert full and click on approve. Now our website is now successfully approved. So now we just need to create a form. So you will see here the widget. So widget means the form. So let's click on this create widget button. And then we'll see lots of pop-up or lots of what's called form or widgets, what do you say, all are present here. So what you like, you can choose from there. So let me go to the for, uh, like this block. Okay, so let me go to this pop-up option and here lots of uh, like widgets are present here. What you like, you can choose. First, choose what you like, then click on this create a pop-up button. Just click on there. So now as you can see, we get the preview. So here basically this is drag and drop system and this is customizable what you will want. If you want to change anything else, you can do. Suppose you just want to change the text, just click on the text, then you see this sidebar the all option. Like if you want, you can text, change the text, here the, and the option bold, italic, all option there. Also, if you want, you can change the font, font size, text alignment, color, everything. See here also the text, just simply click on the text, then you'll see in the sidebar, the all option, okay? See so at the button, if you want, you can change anything, anything else. And here also the images. So if you want, you can change from there. 
So I'm not doing uh, any kind of changes from there. Let me go to this here, the option like display rules. And let me set up here like display scroll more than 40%. More than 40% means when someone open any kind of page or post, when someone scroll in 40%, then they will see our pop-up or widgets. That's it. Basically, this is. And if you want to add any kind of condition, you can add. In the case, so let me save it. So here the here the top option, save it. Just save it. And here the inactive option. If you want to active this, just click on active to active. And let me go to this design. And here, as you can see, the plus icon. So plus icon means if you want many website do that, like in the first page, in the first page, showing like this type of thing. And when they, they, just, they just join, then they will get the another pop-up. Its name is thank you. So if you want to do, you can, you just need to create, you just need to go to the premium plan, but I'm not recommend you to do that. Or if you want, you can choose another, another template, which is pre-built in there. So when it's done, just go back here, just reload. And if you want, as you can see, if you see the bottom, then you'll see the mobile option. It's responsive or not. That's it. So when it's done, then let me reload this page again. Now you see here the top three by five. Three by five means when you hover then, then you see the connect integration and the get first subscriber. So you already at the side and connect our side and already create a widget, but those are missing. So we just need to fill up those. So let me click on this connect with integration. So then you see lots of company are there. So I personally use like MailChimp. So if you have another company, then you can use from there, but I'm using MailChimp. If you don't have MailChimp account, let's go to the MailChimp.com. So this is the MailChimp. So you just need to go to this website and you just need to create an account. So if you don't know like how to create an account, just search it in Google, how to create a MailChimp account. If you search it, then you will get more result and uh, you will get the solution like how to create a MailChimp account. That's it. So when your account done, then when your account done, then go to go back here again and select MailChimp. And we just need to connect our MailChimp account into our convert form. Because when we when user give their email, then automatically those email go to our our MailChimp, MailChimp like what's called MailChimp contacts. So let's click on connect. And then we just need to input our username and password. So let's click on login and scroll down and allow. All right, so now as you can see, it's successfully done. So here the option like request double opt in confirm. So I personally recommend you just turn off this because and click on save it. Because of this means if someone give their email there, like suppose I personally input my email address and I just click on submit or join, then I will get the confirmation email into my mail. Do you want to join like this? So I don't want to do that because this is a boring thing because people people just uh, know that, like what they want. So I don't want to uh, tell <laughs> them again and again. So that's why. So let's uh, turn off this and let's save it. And uh, so I think this is almost done. So we don't need to do anything else in there. So let me click on this site list. Then let's see this step. So now let me let check that it's working as well or not. Go to the private window and let's paste our website name. So as you can see, when I scroll down, then I will see this pop up here, the option. So it's working as well. So now let's set up here like auto reply system in MailChimp. To do that, go to your MailChimp. The second option, the create option, just click on create. And then select the email and then the automated option select click on automated and here the all come new subscriber if you want to do anything else suppose say them happy birthday or like share the blog update and email subscribe when they're tagged so then you can choose that but i personally select here this welcome new subscriber because i just want to do like when someone first time subscribe subscribed then they will get this pdf or then they will get the download link that's it i just want something like this no that, that that okay so let's we just need to type here like campaign name 
So let me change here to welcome. I just type up a campaign name is welcome only. So here our uh, like audience. Here the audience means I think this is there. I will show you which. Let's click on this begin. All right. So now as you can see something uh, showing here. The from if you want you can change. If you have any kind of like branding email then you can use it. And one thing if you want to create any kind of branding email with absolutely free. Uh, so then let me know uh, in the comment section in the next video I will try to help you or try to upload in a new video about like how you can create the branding email and how you can use it as like an Gmail. So if you want to see the tutorial then please comment below in the next video I will try to upload and here the subject and uh, if you want you can change like thanks for joining us uh, that's it and here the content the content is the most important thing let me click on this edit design edit this design the design means basically what they are just receiving okay so as you can see this type of thing if you want to change the design you can change so here the option we are glad you are here keep uh, something like so if you want to change the text it's very simple just click on this the text or here the pen icon then you will see the option in the area can change and if you want to add any kind of download link so then you can download just add the download link or download then here the option just here the option like add the url just simply add the url that's it so if i want to change anything here suppose i don't need this i just delete it it's now delayed if i want to change this one also so we can do that's it so let's click on save change like save and continue just here so here they start sending just click on start sending and start now all right so rocks on okay so now it's great now automation so let me go to this audience to show you see so the all contacts to see how much contact you have see so here my all all subscriber so let me copy my website url again and go to the private window let me paste here so now let me type here my name and also let me type here my gmail account and let me click on this accept and let me click on join i think it's okay now so let me go to our subscriber and let's reload this page so if you see nothing happened that means no gmail uh, come in there so we just need to wait in there like we just need to wait and we just need to reload this tab again I think the net connection is the big problem here. Let me paste here again and let me click on join. Let's go to all subscriber and let's see. All right, so I successfully get this email address here, like email. So let me click on this email, then you'll see. Hi, I'm the Ajijul and we glad like thank like thank you massive where you successfully get this and if you go to this audience then you will see here the all audience if you click on this audience here the all con contacts then you'll see the all email address and also if you if you're not finding out like many times many times not uh, if you this is not a mistake or this is an error this is not anything because in two minutes ago i just tried to submit another email address but it's not going in there but if you see this list in the subscriber list then you'll see the email address so here i hope guys you understand and if you want you can change this like the design if you want and uh, i hope this video helpful for you so if you think this video helpful so please click on this like button and if you're new here on my channel and you also like wordpress so i recommend you please subscribe and click on this bell icon because when i upload a new video then you will get the notification thank you